Yo, what up guys? It's been about two whole years since my last new morphism tutorial, so I think my favourite design aesthetic deserves a bit of a refresh. I recently redesigned the Spotify app with this new morphic inspired feel. I'll also show you the dark mode version in the next video, but I'll first show you how to do this light version by jumping into the code. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project, and in my main function I'm just running my app, and inside I've just got a blank scaffold. The first thing to do is the background color. I'm going to change it to a light gray. And in the body, let's just create in the middle a very basic container that contains a text widget just saying hello. Cool. Now, usually when we decorate this, we can give it a color, say pink. And maybe let's add some padding here just to make it a little bit more nicer. And one of the things that you can do to make your buttons and boxes more aesthetically pleasing is to adjust this border radius which I do all the time and this one just clips it in the corners to make it more round. Cool so this is the part where the new morphism comes into play and the main idea with this is actually the shadows. So you can see in the box shadow here it requires a list and so we're going to put in two shadows. So on the bottom right we're going to have a darker shadow and on the top left we're going to have a lighter shadow. Okay so let's add in a first box shadow and just make it grey. Now we made it uh, 300 in the background so I want to make this a little bit darker grey. And we also have to specify this offset which is basically the position of the shadow. So if you look at this offset it's actually 0 by default and we are actually going to Put in two numbers so you can see here it requires a x and a y and so zero zero is just in the middle and so if i save this you're not going to be able to see the shadow and just to quickly outline how these numbers work negative one negative one is in the top left whereas positives are on the bottom right so for example if i say like negative five negative five this will be towards the top left you can see there um, but i actually want this darker shadow to be on the bottom right so i'm just going to make these positives and let's just copy this and do the same thing for the light shadow, but just make the color white and put it on the top left. Cool. And at this point, we can actually just change the container color itself to be gray. Now, the important thing with new morphism is your foreground and the background should be the same color. And we're going to let the shadows do the magic. Currently, our shadows are a bit stiff, so we're going to specify a blur radius. And if you hover over it, it's just zero by default. So let's just put in a number here, let's say five. And you can see the darker section is getting much more blurred out. So we'll set it at 15 and same thing for the white. And you can already see there, there's the new morphism. It looks really nice. It's kind of got this effect of having a light source on the top left, just shining down at this button. Now this looks pretty good, but let's just fine tune it just a little bit further. So we have this last thing to specify, which is the spread radius. And I'm just going to put in one. And this gray, I think we can go down one more. Yeah, make it a little bit lighter. And let me just fine tune these numbers just to make it look a little bit perfect. Just play around with these numbers to fine tune it to your liking, but I think this looks pretty good so far. And so now with the child, you can specify whatever you want in this child, right? So right now I have a text widget, but I can put in an image or an icon. You can put anything in here. But for now, let's just put in an image which I already included in the project. I think these boxes look pretty good with the rounded corners, but you can also just do a full circle, which also looks pretty good as well. Awesome, hopefully that was easy to understand. Let me know if you have any questions about this, but other than that, that's it for this one. And I'm gonna quickly follow this video up with the dark mode version as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!